Unfortunately, my uh, first two stories today are completely infuriating in a moment. In a few moments, I'm going to talk about the latest with the spending infrastructure bill and just the pathetic nature of what's happened. And we'll talk about whether at this point progressives should just vote no and do everything they can to kill the bill. We'll get to that. But first, I want to start with the story of Stephen Donziger, the attorney who now is surrendering to prison. And it is an absolutely insane story. If you've not been following the story, it is just like a perfect example of so much of what is wrong with so many different systems that we have in the country. So let's read the latest report from Reuters. Chevron foe Donziger surrenders after losing bid to avert prison prison for the lawyer. Why? Well, let's look. Disbarred lawyer Stephen Donziger, who was convicted of criminal contempt after a decades long legal battle with Chevron over rainforest pollution in Ecuador, surrendered to authorities Wednesday after losing his bid to stay out of prison. The second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals a couple days ago denied Donziger's request to delay his six month prison term or grant him bail. As he challenges his conviction and sentence, his uh, lawyer Ronald Kuby said in court documents Wednesday he surrendered and is in custody of the federal prison in Danbury, Connecticut. Quote, it is sadly typical of the degraded quality of justice in this case that the only way Mr. Donziger could prove he was not a flight risk was to show up and be imprisoned. Uh, Donziger is appealing his July conviction for criminal contempt and October 1st sentencing to six months prison by a federal judge in Manhattan. Now, what is this all about? The contempt case stems from post judgment orders in a civil case in which another Manhattan judge in 2014 barred enforcement in the U.S. of a nine point five billion dollar judgment against Chevron that Donziger won in an Ecuadorian court. The judge said the Ecuadorian judgment had been secured through bribery, fraud and extortion. Donziger, who was disbarred in New York last year, was charged with contempt in 2019 for failing to turn over his computer, phones and other electronic devices, among other conduct. Uh, the New York resident has been in home detention since August of 2019. Tuesday's Second Circuit order also expedites Donziger's appeal. So you have a situation here where Steven Donziger was fighting uh, this case in Ecuador against one of these big fossil fuel companies and rainforest destruction. And then for what many assert, and we'll get to this in a moment, are political reasons and the power of corporations. This has all been completely flipped and turned around on Donziger, who then said, guys, I'm not giving you my stuff. And now he's been held in contempt and now is being sentenced to six months for that contempt. Now, it's not just me saying this sounds wrong. The United Nations has ruled that the entire Stephen Donziger house arrest violates international laws. This is from a few weeks ago, close to a month ago. The U.N. human rights body said a former environmental lawyer's house arrest on contempt charges was illegal and called on the U.S. to release him. And this provides some context. Stephen Donziger in the early 1990s sued Texaco on behalf of a group of Ecuadorian farmers and indigenous people alleging major environmental harms by the energy company. We've heard those stories many times um, for decades. These companies have known the environmental damage that they were doing through their fossil fuel uh, business. An Ecuadorian court ruled in favor of the plaintiffs in 2011 and ordered Chevron, which had since acquired Texaco to pay nine and a half billion dollars. Then Chevron countersued in the United States, asking, uh, accusing the lawyer Donziger of bribery and witness tampering. And then Judge Lewis Kaplan in the US ruled in Chevron's favor. And then Donziger was hit with contempt charges during the appeals process. When federal prosecutors in the Southern District of New York declined to prosecute Donziger on the contempt charges, the uh, judge took the unusual step of appointing private attorneys instead. Look at what is happening here. Rita Glavin, one of the attorneys, previously worked for a firm that Chevron retained. So every reason to think this is Chevron wanting to get back at an attorney that effectively went after them for the environmental damage that they did. U.S. District Judge found Donziger 
guilty of contempt in July in the ruling uh, in its ruling. The U.N.'s working group on arbitrary detention called Donziger's detention arbitrary. Note, noting the maximum penalty for Donziger's charges is actually six months house arrest for two years without sentencing for something where you would only at the most serve six months. This, they wrote, means Mr. Donziger, having been under house arrest since August 6th of 2019, has already served the maximum possible penalty four times over. In this regard, the working group recalls that the Human Rights Committee has argued if the length of time that the defendant has been detained reaches the length of the longest sentence that could be imposed for the crimes charged, the defendant should be released. The working group's five international jurists said they were appalled by the case and said the charges against and detention of Donziger appears to be retaliation for his work as a legal representative of indigenous communities as he refused to disclose confidential correspondence with his clients in a very high profile case against multinational business enterprise. This is the worst of the worst of the worst. Um, this is very clearly um, retaliation by a company with massive resources, Chevron, um, against a guy. They allege that the settlement he obtained of nine point five billion dollars was done through bribery, but they've not proven that. Understand that the allegation was, well, they only got this settlement by bribing people and fraud and so on and so forth. It's not been proven. They managed to make that case by dumping legal fees upon legal fees to create a problem for Donziger. They got to a point where he was in a position of saying, turn over all these documents related to your private dealings with the plaintiffs. He said, no. Now he's in contempt. There is a maximum sentence of six months for that, but he was held under home confinement, house arrest for two years, even though the if found guilty, the maximum possible sentence would have been six months. Every aspect of this stinks. It every effort was made to exhaust every legal resource possible. And uh, I believe it was yesterday or, or the day before. Yes, I think the day before it was decided that yesterday he would turn turn himself over to a Connecticut um, a prison uh, or, or institution, the Institute of Prisons or the Board of Prisons or whatever it's called in Connecticut for the six month sentence. A lot of people hadn't heard of this story. It is absolutely and completely bonkers. And uh, w I don't think this is the end of it. And we're going to continue covering it. One of our sponsors is called Privacy. Privacy is a totally free service that I've been using for years. Privacy lets me create virtual payment cards with one click. And when I use the virtual card, the money is taken out of my bank account. You can create multiple cards, delete them, freeze them, set a spending limit on them. Let's say I'm signing up for a free trial and it requires a credit card. Privacy will autofill a virtual card number. And then after signing up, I can delete that virtual card so I know I'm not going to be charged again. Something really useful and very practical. Or let's say I'm ordering food over the phone, but I left my wallet somewhere. I don't have my real credit card on me. I can use a virtual card on my privacy mobile app. But really, the best part is you're not out there exposing your real credit card number. So you're not as susceptible to data breaches and identity theft. Privacy is a totally free service and you'll get five bucks to spend when you go to privacy.com slash Pacman. The link is right underneath this video.